Yo, what's up YouTube? The NBA 2K21 demo is officially out and I am here to show you guys the best build for each position in the game. I will be releasing videos for each position starting with the point guard today. I've been testing every single point guard build out for the last 24 hours and I think I found the best one in the game for now. But before we get into this build, I want to give a quick shout out to my 13 subscribers, which is more than I was expecting after just releasing one video. But if you're new, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you could see all the new videos I release as soon as they're up. But that's enough of that, let's get right into this build. So they added a whole bunch of new uh, skill breakdown pie charts into the game, as everyone can see. But we are going to go with this one right over here, the pure playmaking one. And there's two main reasons we're going to go for this skill breakdown. The number one reason is we want to make a tall point guard, we, not too tall. We want to go around 6'5", but we don't want that to, uh, to affect the dribbling. So this pie chart will sort of prevent the ball handling from going down as the height goes up. Then for the physical profile, you want to go for the even pie chart. Really need all three, agility, strength, and vertical for this build. Now let me show you guys the attributes for this build. So close shot, you want to bring that all the way up to an 82. Driving layup is very important, bring it up to an 88. Driving dunk, we're going to put that at a 68. And then leave standing dunk and post hook alone. You don't need that for a point guard. For mid-range, you want to put that all the way up to 82. Three-pointer, all the way up to 75. Free throw, we're going to put the free throw at a 78. I'll come back to why we're doing that later. The post fade, we are going to put that at a 70. The pass, put that at an 80. Ball handling, all the way up to 95. That's the most important thing for a point guard. Whoosh! Whoosh whoosh! Hiya! Interior defense. I always like putting a little bit on it, even on a point guard, just in case you get switched on a bigger defender. And we're gonna put that at a 47, just one below the maximum. Perimeter, put that all the way up to 75. Lateral quickness, all the way up to 75. Steel, also all the way up to 79. And then you don't need block for a point guard. You don't need offensive rebound and put the rest of your points on defensive rebound because for some reason defensive rebound just gives you a lot more defensive badges and you end with seven. Now going back to the free throw as I said earlier, the reason we're not putting it all the way up is you could still hit free throws very well with a 78 free throw rating and also if you get boosts and all that stuff it'll, it'll bring it up into the 80s so don't worry about the free throw you'll be fine. And if you guys are going to switch around the attributes and play around with it at all, be really careful because I want to show you guys something. So if I take one uh, attribute away from the free throw, take a look at the badge upgrades. It goes from 14 down to 13. And if I put it somewhere else, let's say like interior defense, it doesn't give me an extra defensive badge. So you guys have to be really careful about that. Make sure you guys are maximizing the amount of badges you have. It, it's basically giving you a free extra shooting badge just for one attribute of a difference. So just make sure you're very careful about that. Now moving on to the body shape. This doesn't mar matter at all. Pick whatever you want. I'm going to go with built. Height. As I said before, we're going to go with 6'5". I would like to go taller, but if we go 6'6", six, six, it's just way too many things start going down ball handling goes down by six shooting goes down speed acceleration all go down six five is the much better choice so we're gonna go with six five as for the weight i really like keeping it exactly where it is but i'm gonna move it up one to 201 pounds just to get one little extra point on post moves i don't want to put it up anymore because it'll bring down the acceleration if you bring it down too much then it affects the strength so we're going to keep it at 201 pounds as for the wingspan you want to bring the wingspan all the way down you want to make your guy as good of a shooter as possible this also brings up the strength it doesn't affect the defense too much there's a couple minus ones and minus threes in there but that should that's nothing to worry about you're going to be fine you're still a very good defensive build trust me 
As for the takeover, all three of these are good, but I'm gonna go with the playmaker badge. You guys could really pick whichever one you want. I'm gonna go with the playmaker badge just because it's a point guard build and you're gonna be dribbling a lot, so I think it's probably gonna be the most helpful for this build. And there are our comparisons, D'Angelo Russell, Chauncey Billups, and John Morant. So I'm going to put his testing overall rating all the way up, and I'm going to show you guys what badges to pick for this build now. But you guys do need to remember that as patches and updates come out, the badges are going to change. They're going to be patched, they're going to be buffed, they're going to be nerfed, so this is what I've been using for now, so you guys can test these badges out and see what you guys think but I'm sure all the badges are going to be different once the actual game comes out so for finishing badges we're going to put contact finisher we're going to put three on contact finisher put that at gold that's the most important one giant slayer we're going to put two on giant slayer because even if the big man who's guarding you isn't contesting the shot even if he's close by you have a higher chance of missing that shot so you really need Giant Slayer just to prevent that from happening. Slithery Finisher, we're going to put our last badge over there. Just to help us get easier layup animations. Now moving on to shooting. The most important one is Range Extender. We're going to put that all the way up. Then we're going to put Deadeye all the way up. Difficult shots, you're going to be handling the ball a lot, so you are going to be shooting off the dribble with a point guard build, so definitely put three on difficult shots. And even though you're not going to be shooting as many catch and shoot threes as, let's say, the shooting guard or small forward or any other build, you are still going to be shooting some, so I'm going to put two over there. I'm going to put catch and shoot on silver. Now with the last three, in the actual game, I would typically put it on hot zone hunter but no one has hot zones in the demo so we're not really going to be able to see how good hot zone hunter is until the actual game comes out so for now i'm just going to put those three points on green machine then for the playmaking badges these are the most important unpluckable has to be on bronze you don't need it any higher than that it doesn't make a difference quick first step you want it all the way up Tight handles all the way up. These are the most important badges for getting around your defender. Needle threader all the way up to Hall of Fame. You don't want any stupid turnovers happening. Next, you want Floor General all the way up. This is the most selfless badge in the game. It makes every single one of your teammates' offensive attributes better. This is a must have, especially when the real game comes out. You need to have this. Dimer, same thing, same exact thing. You want that all the way up. And then the last point, just to prevent uh, turnovers from sh uh, passing off of your shots, you want to put that on bailout. And that's it for the playmaking badges. Then for defense, we have seven. So here's what you want to do. You want to put clamps all the way up. You're going to be guarding a lot of point guards who are going to be dribbling left and right. You have to be able to stay on them and Intimidator because you have to be contesting their shot as well as you possibly can. And the other most important thing is you're going to be getting screened left and right when you're a point guard, so you need to have Bronze Pick Dodger on. The last step you want to do in creating this build is say a quick prayer that Ronnie2k doesn't patch this build and it stays good. And that's it for the best point guard build in NBA 2K21, the demo. If you guys think you made a better build than mine, then leave a comment and let me know what you guys built. But that's all for today. I hope everyone has a great day and thanks for watching.